real enough for you to wonder if you will ever feel the happiness that Clark and I do. You envy what we have. No, I have only ever been happy for Lois and Clark. Wait. Envy. Leaving with Ollie would be sloth. In Clark's case, it's lust. You're trying to tempt me. Bravo. But knowing that doesn't change how you feel. You just have to admit it. You gave up everything that I have, and you want it back? Never. Get out of my head. It's the heart, actually. The window to the soul. Both mankind's greatest asset and his weakness. So what, you're just gonna put me through the seven deadly sins house of horror to try and convert me into one of your dark denizens? A little on the nose, don't you think? Oh, you might balk. But it's worked for me for a very long time. <laughs> Most of you are quite easy to turn, but... Others require a little persuading. The visions tend to cut to the heart of the matter. Sin is a liability I exploit. You are more vulnerable than you think. You know what I am. You know what I'm capable of. Kill me. Your friends will all die if you don't. Trying to get me on wrath now, huh? Nice try. But I'm stronger than that. We are stronger than that, aren't we? We can resist any temptation. But what if we're doing it to save our own souls when we could be saving the world? I will not take a life, period. Good girl. Stay strong. Beat him at his own game. Feels good, doesn't it? To be better than all of those that fell before him. Pride. That's our hubris. Our fatal flaw. Our control issues. Our grossly disproportionate sense of independence. Too proud to ask for help. That's why we vanished without a trace. Shut up! Too proud to face the fact that the world moved on without us. I said enough! All that effort you spent freeing yourself from your old identity to suddenly give everything over for something lesser, for a relationship. Go to hell. No, it'll be here soon enough. Sadly, you've grown just as useless as that knife. Tell me, Chloe. When's the last time you had a nice, hard cry? <laughs>